every year at the end of the year, we do a video wrapping up all the games we've played in that year, but we never really get to talk about them. So today we're gonna talk about the games we played and the games we gave up on. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I have all the games sitting right here. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna reach down, grab one. Throw it at you. <laughs> throw it at you and we're gonna talk about it. Yeah. So this one, top one is Jen, is on the PS Vita. It's called Papers, Please. Yes. What do you wanna talk about, Jen? Well, I really, really enjoyed this game. I was surprised how much I enjoyed it. I almost didn't pick it up because it is not cheap. It was $79.99. I do believe it's gone up since then. That was $79.99. A year ago. Yeah, so it's a simulation. Um, you're an immigration officer. You're allowing people through the borders or not, depending on their paperwork. So you have to scrutinize their paperwork. You got to look for fine little details. It starts you up very slowly. Like, the paperwork has to match and it's like a few things. At the end, you're checking like 15 different things. This game sounds so exhilarating. I loved it. I loved it. You can also take bribes, but you don't realize that there might be dire consequences with that. Every day you get paid, you have to go and make sure you feed your family. You have to make sure you pay for your rent and then other expenditures might come up. Now, I did find out you can feed your family every other day and they're fine, so that's what I did. Uh, I know that. I saved some money. I, I know. I saved all some money. Yeah. But this game is a phenomenal game. I was really Phenomenal? Surprised. It really was. It really was. I was not expecting much from it and maybe that's why I liked it so much. He would not like it. I really, really, really enjoyed Well, I was sitting here it. thinking that whole time. It's like, I've realized that me and you don't like the same kind of games. <laughs> well, we like the same kind of games, but I'm a little broader. I think my I think my range of what I like you is a little blonder. I think you said blonde. it wrong. A little blonder, but yeah, I really. Yeah, that's enough about papers. There, nobody wants papers. Papers, no please. No more papers. Okay, no more papers. Please. My game is I played it on the Switch. Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster. I played number two. Uh I'm still torn about what I think of number two on here I was because kind of, yeah. Now I was talking to this here for me to get this all out. Decent game. It's an older RPG. Yeah. Um, my only issue with it is I don't know how long I would have had to grind and play if you would have played it. If I had a played it without this one specific weapon. Uh, mm -hmm. So in the final battle with the blood sword, it's, it's weird. It makes the game almost broken because I would hit the the main boss for three thousand mm -hmm. hit points, and I'd also heal myself 3,000 oh. hit points or whatever like it's too bad that, that number I'm just kind of guesstimating here so then he's taken care of yeah so then my other two because one guy's dead the other two they only got one attack in each before they got hit and it was like oh shit gotta start healing mm -hmm. so all I did was keep healing that one would heal this one they would heal back and forth back and forth back mm -hmm. and forth and the main guy was just chipping away, chipping away, <laughs> chipping away. And they were just using those two for target oh. practice for the boss. And it was like... This is a... This sounds like a battle of the tortoise and the hare. I used the two idiots as target practice. Like, okay, shoot these guys. And I'm going to keep hitting you until you die. And yeah. You went on. I went on too long with that. I, he cut me off at, well, after like a minute and a half. And it I felt like... way longer though. It <laughs> felt way longer You're talking about papers and please. <laughs> now this is not fair. How many games are on this? Yeah, there's three on it. I'm just talking about one. <laughs> oh my god. There's all. I played all three of them, but I'm just. They were. Yeah, I'm just talking about one. So um, I played two before Christmas. Don't fucking take it away from me. I played two before Christmas and one after. And this was my very first game of the year. It was worse than death, I think. Which one did I play? No, along with you. <laughs> you don't even know what you played. Start over. Give it to me. No, no, no. We're rolling. Th I'm the editor now. <laughs> <laughs> I just couldn't remember what they're called. But so which one is it? Alone with you. Alone with you. Yes. So you're basically the last. Is. Is. You're basically the last survivor on a planet where everybody else has been decimated or starved to death or has become a casualty of the elements. You are alone with an AI and the AI wants to get you off the planet. And the whole time I'm like, 
in survival horror mode thinking, no, nope, he's trying to kill me. He really just really wants to try to get you off the planet. It wraps up very nicely. It's a game of morality and choices at the end. And you have to decide between two things. And I really don't want to spoil it because it's a newer game. It's just know that if you go into this game, it's a glorified walking sim if you like that sort of thing. If you don't, it might not be the game for you. I actually enjoyed it. The ending boosted it a lot more and there's no fighting in it. There's absolutely no fighting. So that made it a bit hard for me because- Can I get the sound effect for uh, Price of Light? Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> yeah, there's no fighting in it. So that, that made it hard for me, but sometimes I need to learn to appreciate the story because I skip it a lot. This made me appreciate the Got story. Got this from Limited Run, apparently. Yes. I enjoyed every game. You know when you were talking about it. AI trying to get you off the, the planet, planet? I automatically started thinking of a podcast I was listening to. I think it was on Joe Rogan. They were talking about sex robots. And the AI are going to try to get you off. <laughs> no, that's not that game. <laughs> that don't be buy it based on Scott's description. <laughs> that's not that game. It's not that game. I would have bought that game. <laughs> <laughs> It's a VR game. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> All right, game I'm playing right now, and I'm not finished it yet, is Ease Origins. It is, is, have you seen anybody? Any of the gameplay? No, I don't think I have. None of it? No. I don't care about your games. <laughs> it, it's an action Yes, RP I have. Shut up, you don't know anything. Yes, I did. You were in a dungeon and you couldn't get past some, there was some poison in the room. Okay, yeah, yeah I did. That part there. See, okay, I know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, she knows all about it there. But anyway, I'm only maybe halfway through the game, mm -hmm. so I'm not going to talk too much about it because I'll be talking about it next month when I finish it. Yeah. But if you like that top down kind of, uh, it gives me a little bit of that, that link to the past kind of okay. feel to it there. Yeah, I can, I can see that. with the sword and stuff. Mm -hmm. And the whole, play, whole thing so far takes place in the tower. Beautiful. And it's just this. You're constantly making your way up yeah. the tower and you're fighting boss. The boss battles so far are freaking epic. Yeah. Amazing. It's a beautiful game from what yep. I've seen of it. All right. This well, was... Don't talk about that yet. Talk about the game I actually finished. This one? Yeah, that was, makes way more was sense. That for the, the, the finale. The, oh, whatever. well, save that for the finale then. Uh, we're doing behind the scenes edit stuff. Just you wait. Oh, okay. I'm not editing any of this. Okay. Give me the game. This was a recommendation. Yes. From me. Yes. After your other recommendation that sucked, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. Darksiders. Darksiders. I wanted more God of War, and apparently I wasn't willing to play another God of War game, so I play. I do like God of War. I don't want anybody to hate me in the comments. I played Darksider. I'm still playing Darksider. It's a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. You are one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. You are war. It is amazing. I did not enjoy it at first. It opened up very weird. I was like, I am, like every enemy is overpowering me. How am I ever gonna make it through this game? But it kind of starts you in this opening sequence and then you start the game. I didn't know that. So I almost gave up on it. I was swearing in the chair beside Scott saying, this game sucks. That's typical, I just ignore it. This is a great game. Um, the underwater elements in this game too, don't suck. And that for me is a big deal because when it, the underwater elements in a game suck, I'm almost out every time. But when he's swimming around, it's actually like the controls are tight. I really, really, really love this game. I was trying to look at look for the date when it was made because that's yeah. when I played it for the you know, year after. Oh my God, you have I can't never that. seen this. No. I have no shot in hell of seeing it. So anyway, it. maybe I'll look it up, pop it up on the screen. Probably not. Yeah. I played it back then, and I don't remember a whole lot about it. I remember some areas that I fought yeah. in, but I really don't remember much about it other than the fact that I really enjoyed it. And I was planning on playing it myself this year, and that's, and she's like, oh, do I play? What do I play? And I'm like, well, she was like, maybe I play a God of War. I'm like, well, You want to play a better that. God of War? That's what he's like, play yeah, Darksiders. Play Darksiders. It's I also phenomenal. recommended another one, but we won't talk about it. I love all my upgrades I can do on my weapons, my different weapons, all the enemies. You're done talking. I love it! I have so much time I to love talk. it. Okay, go ahead. This game I finished was the first game I played this year. Yes. I think, mm -hmm. yeah. Cosmic Star Heroin. When did we talk about this? I remember this being in a video. It at was some in point. a pickup video because I got video. it for you for Christmas. Ah, yeah. that's what it was. Yep. Yeah, yeah. 
So anyway, I played through this. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. I remember seeing comments in the video of it, people they couldn't get into it and all that, but you I really like liked it. it. Maybe you're I'm a biased. And you're yeah, because I am on the cover. Yeah. So, but I'm not gonna talk too much about it because I want to actually do a full sit down review. Yeah. And we're gonna get all dressed up. We are. Not enough people are talking about that, and you raved about it, so... I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed yeah. it so much that I went and started finding uh, games made by the same company. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. My last game that I played all the way through, this is the only one that I'm still playing on, but Fable 2. I'm pretty sure I played through this one twice, because <laughs> holy... Holy smokes, if it hadn't been for I Love Sam so much, and she wanted me to play one of her favorite games, if not her favorite game, she can, you know, correct me in the comments, um, I would have been done playing it. I had so many issues with the disc freezing, I got um, it resurfaced. I think that was a the, lot of issues with the Xbox. Yes, we had to swap actually, Xboxes. The Xbox actually died, we had a red ring. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, so we swapped that out, and then I copied it to the hard drive instead of playing it from the disc, which made a big difference too, so there was less freezing, because there was places it was freezing up and I just couldn't do it. My biggest issue with this game is I don't want a fucking husband. I don't want a husband or a wife. You can be a lesbian. I don't want a husband or a wife. I can be a lesbian? I think <laughs> I am. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I don't want a marriage. I want to fight things. I don't want That's why that. you get married. <laughs> right? <laughs> fight the, yeah, yeah yeah but i just wanted to fight i didn't mind the other elements of it of like going to be a blacksmith and and earning money that way i didn't mind that once i played it the way i wanted to play it i loved it i could see yeah. myself playing it again it's another morality game where you can be good or evil well after yeah you were you were into it and i thought this is gonna for sure gonna be a traitor no and by the time she finished it she's like no i think I'll yeah play it again i'm like Really? Yeah, I uh, loved Wraith Marsh and I also loved Bloodstone. Those were my two favorite spots in the game. And then there was other places I really enjoyed in the game too, but I really, I, I loved that part because it was a little bit darker and I like survival horror. So it, it was a great game. Great recommendation from Sam. She played something on her channel. I'm hoping she talks about it, but we'll see. Something I so recommend. That was, well, actually we have one more game that we are in the midst of oh, playing. It's yeah. a co-op game. Don't have a physical copy of it because there is no such thing as yes. a physical copy of it yet, but it's Gauntlet uh, Slayer Edition. Slayer Edition, yeah. Playing it on the PS5, but I think you can get it on PS4 and PS5. Mm -hmm. Probably, I would assume, every console switch. Yeah. And Xbox, I'm not sure, 100%. But I picked it up and it was, uh, I believe it was around the $6 mark. Yeah. Digital like, I know on we're sale. big proponents of physical media. But when it's a $6 game, I'm like, well, what yeah. else can we buy for like $6 to have that many well, hours of fun? Well, yeah, and we hit the, we hit a, we had a problem where we kind of ran out of co-op yeah. games. I'm shocked we we run. A uh, four player. Two yeah. player we still Two have. Two player we have a ton of, but yeah. we're looking for like three, four player mm -hmm. games, uh, co-op games. Yeah. So I had to go on the hunt. And uh, that was one of the ones I found, stumbled across mm -hmm. it there on YouTube, and I start going on my PlayStation app and looking it up. I'm like, oh, it happened to be on sale. Yeah. I grabbed it. And then I think I had it for probably two or three weeks, and we I didn't play it. I was not excited it. to play it when No, we, you... I don't know nobody why. Nobody wanted to play it. And I'm like, Listen, we're just playing it. We're going to play it. Yeah. And of course... Within 30 minutes, <laughs> I, looked love at, it. I looked at the two of them, and I'm like, I love this game. Yeah. And Scott said the same thing, and Dennis said the same thing, and he can't wait to come back over and play again. It's our... So if you like uh, Diablo... Yeah, I was going to say, it's our Diablo... Gauntlet. It's... it's I, I think I read somewhere, don't quote me on this, I think it's kind of a, a remaster of the original Gauntlet. Okay, I don't, think, I don't know. I don't know 100% either, but anyway, like... I would say I'd edit right here and say if Scott's wrong or not, but I'm not editing this one, so... He'll just say he's right I'll no matter what. I'll just have a picture of me going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's it. That's the picture. Okay. So that's all the games we played and I guess are committing so to play through. So what did we not? We gave up what on we give up games. on? We games. gave up on five games. Did we five games? Yes. Really? Here's the reason, guys. We're going to start playing games in this game room. We're not keeping games we were never intending on playing. That's foolish for us. 
It might not okay. be for you, but we don't want to keep games. I'm going to clear the air right now because you said you gave up on something I recommended. Well, I can't recommend something I haven't played. That's I suggested true. her play one of her horror games that she had bought. It's not a horror. It's barely it's a horror Jericho. game. Jericho. Yeah, Jericho. Well, I didn't get up long enough into it to find it. Clive got... Barker's Barker's? Clive Barker's Jericho. Clive Barker's Jericho. It didn't it's jive with me. It's just a first person shooter, right? It felt like I was playing Doom. All the environments seemed like they they looked the same. To be honest, I gave it about an hour and I was like, oh, I can't imagine sitting through eight to ten hours of this. It's, if it's not your genre, it's not your genre. And, and it's it could person, be a wonderful game. It could be. If it was uh, at least two player, I would have given it a shot with yes. Alex. But even myself, you're not a big first, first person, person shooter. Just runner, that's probably not going to grab my attention. Yeah. Either, so, so Jericho is is leaving the collection and hopefully finds a better home. Yeah, somebody will appreciate it. Yeah. Next one. This yeah. is one we bought not that long ago. It is a Hot Wheels Stunt Track Challenge. Yes. Now we all. I, we love some of the newer uh, Hot Wheels games are freaking amazing. Oh, the, my God. the races, the races are amazing. The yes. reason why we couldn't get into this one is because it's just, it's literally stunt track. Yeah. Like, there's not much races. There's you know there's like we played a little bit of this and then put in an older racing game we like better. Yeah. So we it were just, like, yeah. It's just, just not enough on the on here to bring me back. So no. I was like, there's no point of taking up space on the shelf, so. Yeah, for a game we might like more. I, I, yeah, there's nothing that I would, I've never pick it up again. No. There's nothing that makes me want to go back to it. No. Are we bringing these out uh, together? We'll bring the, those ones out together. Okay. But uh, next one, State of Emergency. We put this in, yeah. three of us, it's a four player game. Can um, play single player, I do believe. And it might be a better game single player. Maybe, maybe, but I don't even. There's no real campaign to it in four player. I had no just, clue what I was supposed to be doing. I was typical. running around. It's just like any other game. What are it, my buttons? What's my jump button? Tell me if we're wrong, guys, <laughs> because I feel like I've heard people say this is good. All right, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2: Battle Nexus. And Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3: Mutant, Mutant Nightmare. Nightmare. Um. Not a whole lot good I can say about this game. No. Uh, story kind of sucks. Controls kind of suck. Controls really kind of suck. Yeah. Uh, really, really showing its age. Had we played this one first, we would have thought this one sucked I too, but it was a better version of that. It's a better this, version of that one. But not great. Last 30 seconds. All right. What do you have to say in the last 30 seconds? Leave in the comments what you guys think of our games we played, games we liked. Uh, have you played these? What do you think about the games we gave up on? Yeah, did we give up on them too soon? Should we have gone back? It's too late. It doesn't matter. We're trading them. Well, they're in the box for a while. Yeah, they're in the box. That sounds bad. Until next time! <laughs>